Hello everybody, this is Game Frost and in today's tutorial video we are going to be using the FK Kernel Manager. Now what the FK Kernel Manager is, is a very great kernel manager tool which is basically one of the best looking kernel managers I've ever seen. It has very great UI, it's very simple to use and I recommend it for everybody. I don't know if it's still paid or not but it used to be free on the Play Store because it was on sale. And believe me, um, it was a really, really great tool. And it's really handy as well. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use it. So as you can see here, we have our CPU, GPU, memory, battery, and system um, um, analytics, or what you could say, statistics. Um, basically, we have a lot of uh, data loaded into here. Um, as you can see, I'm running on um, max frequency in my governor's performance, especially my GPU. Uh, the memory, um, now I have um, less free memory because of um, changing my uh, uh, my build prop. You can see that in my, uh, in my previous video, I believe. Um, basically, uh, yeah, this thing shows a lot of stuff. You also have the life monitor right here. It could show you um, the CPU usage, the utilization, and its deep sleep. So as you can see, um, a little bit of the CPU is in deep sleep while most of it is, is using max uh, frequency, which is 1.4 gigahertz. Um, as you can see, you can see um, how much utilization the CPU shows. Um, in the GPU, you can see um, how much speed um, it uses. So basically, um, my speed on idle um, went to 400 so basically my gpu's idle speed used to be 270 megahertz until i overclocked it to about 400 meg megahertz idle and it goes up to 650 megahertz when touched um on ram uh, basically it shows you how much is used total and free and it shows you the usage now the dpr bus is one of the most interesting because i did not know it actually shows you your ram speed I don't know if it's true, but I believe the DDR bus is basically your RAM speed. So basically my max RAM speed is 370. So when I move around, as you can see, it goes up to 370 and usage is 100%. So anytime when you touch the screen, it actually ramps up. ZRAM, um, I have a total of two gigs. I I, um, I placed up to two gigs of um, ZRAM because I think two gigs is a good amount of uh, ZRAM to start off. So basically, you know, I have two gigs of system memory plus two gigs of ZRAM and four gigs, just in case. IO, so basically what the IO is, is basically your storage read and write speeds. Uh, so as you can see, it shows you um, um, re um, real time read and write speeds and its usage. Wake locks, I have no, actually I do. It just shows you uh, um, just basic, phone kernels like um, how much time the phone was powered on and uh, how much time it has been using Wi-Fi or something. Thermal zones will also show you the thermal zones is showing in Celsius. I, I always use Fahrenheit. I'm not really good with Celsius so I think 34 points of Celsius is probably maybe in the 90s or probably or maybe 80s. I have no idea. So the kernel log uh, that's for just um, advanced. I really don't mind about the kernel log but Forget about the life monitor now because we are going to the good stuff. So, as you can see, we have pressed this right here. So you have to press the three bars. And as you can see, we have a variety of a lot of um, options. We have flasher, kernel backup, CPU and GPU, kernel settings, display control, performance profiles, per app profiles, scripts manager and tips. So, in the flasher right here, as you can see, so if you basically have a uh, rooted device or something, you need to um, um, have this thing rooted, of course. This is a, um, you need a rooted device in order to use any kernel. Um, basically, what flasher is, is basically, it, so if you have a ROM, right? If you have a ROM and you want to flash it immediately, all you do is just go straight to this kernel manager, um, and then you just go straight to your download, and then, uh, you just flash any file and then you could press reboot after flashing and you know stuff like that so i don't know if it has i think it makes you boot into your recovery or something i have no idea because i haven't tried it um my phone is not capable of flashing custom roms and stuff kernel backup so basically um if you 
if you want to back up your kernel just in case if things go wrong you can um, press backup and then you can just type in any kernel name so if you just want to type in I don't know performance right and then you just press apply so as you can see it's backing up the kernel and it backs up as an image so in order to do that image all you need to do is go to your recovery like CWM or Torp Crew Recovery I believe and uh, just back up the kernel um, I think you have to uh, install it as this don't install it as a system image I don't know what image you have to install it to maybe a kernel image I have no idea but I believe that in order to do that I think you have to go straight to flash also in the CPU GPU as you can see my minimum and max um, frequency is basically 1.4 gigahertz in order to make your phone to the max all you need to do is just change your minimum to the max frequency which is basically that so if you have like let's say a 2 gigahertz um, phone all you need to do is just go straight to your minimum leave the maximum alone and press the minimum and just press it to 2 gigahertz and you just run it on max all you need to do is just press these right here so what you do is that when this thing turns blue I don't know if it's green it's green or something if it turns green uh, that means it's set on boot so you always have to leave this on um you can also change your CPU governor I'm limited right now but in some devices you have a whole variety of governor options but for me I chose performance because I want the max out of it um and governor profiles I believe I don't know what that does but you can set so if you want to create a profile um you can because you set it on boot core control so basically what you, what you want to do so let's say if you have an eight core processor and you want to uh, save battery or um or basically your phone is always getting thermal throttled because it's too much heat so in core control you could just um enable um cpu cores or disable them it's very easy all you need to do is just click and then bam so it could turn online and offline wherever you like and you can just press set on boot so the settings could, settings could be applied every time you boot up um in gpu control um you can change the minimum yeah as again only change the minimum to 650 megahertz um i mean not 650 but if you have the max like let's say 100 900 whatever just set that to max now default uh, sorry for the uh sorry for that but for the default power level uh i almost got a first crack uh for the default power level um i really don't know what this does but what i know is that it it basically depends on the power of your gpu so let's say if your if your gpu is using that much power you can change the um the power level to three four possibly five i have no idea i've tried it before but i don't know how this power level works yeah um you guys have to search that up possibly so now we go straight to the kernel setting which is my favorite part so in the current kernel settings what you need to apply is um for the mm for the mmc read ahead window all you need to do is just um type up to 4096 um kib and for the dm o read ahead window just put on 4096 kib and just set that on boot don't do anything else on memory all you need to do is, so if you want to enable zram now in order to enable zram all you need to do is just press here oh no oh. oops oops i guess i disabled zram but uh okay that's and now my phone feels a little bit laggy because i disabled but you can enable and disable zram as you like and for the zram size you could change it up to 2048 which is basically two gigs it depends on your phone the swappiness now for the swappiness always change it to 100 because you want to sometimes utilize your zram but sometimes the swappiness can also change if you want so uh let's say if you want your swappiness to be 50 that means going to use um your system memory and zram um it depends but if you want to utilize your zram all you need to do is just change your swappiness to 100 everything else i just left it there and i just press um apply on boot uh, did I enable it? I don't. I don't trust it. I really don't. Let me before I do that. Let me just check if my ZRAM is enabled because uh, problems. Yeah, it's not enabled. Um, wow, that was a flaw right there. Really? 
Okay, forget about that. In the schedule, uh, scheduler, I just left everything set on boot. Miscellaneous. Now, what you need to do is just change the entropy read wake up threshold. Change it to 4096. Now, it might come back at 64, but trust me, it actually works. Um, I don't know why it always reverts back to 64. Maybe it's just a bug. And entropy right wake up always change to 4096. You're gonna see a very, very big difference. All right. Um, tunables. So, what what custom tunables are is basically so if there's anybody from let's say an XDA forum or any other forum about Android tweaking and they use this kernel manager, if somebody wants to like um give you like uh like a performance like let's say okay so imagine if you have like a one plus and there's a a person that um that has a tunable which um increase your phone's battery or something like that then you could just add a custom tunable you just download and add a custom tunable bit there so that your phone could do it so anybody could share their own tunable so which is a really really great option uh let me check back to uh memory yeah i still disabled see them so for display control, so mine is pretty much limited. All I could do is just change your brightness, which really sucks. Um, what else? Performance profiles. Um, you really don't have enough. I guess you have to ask the de developer. Uh, per app profiles. Um, you can change it from simple to advanced. I have advanced mode because you know I want to tweak my phone to the max. Um, scripts manager. You can. Um, add any script so basically if you know um, if you know how to I think it runs by C++ so if you know how to like script your kernel you can just use the script manager and basically you have tips which is great so if you want to underclock the CPU and stuff yep you have everything you could change the tips he has everything so basically this kernel manager is one of the best kernel managers I've used so far uh, in terms of UI, this is just the best looking kernel manager I've seen so far. And I've realized that, uh, wow, it's really slow since, oh my god. What happened to the ZRAM? Now it's NAND. Wow. Uh, that's terrible. But, yeah, let me just re-enable the ZRAM real quick. But, yeah, as you can see... Um, the kernel manager is really good. It's really stable so far. Um, so if you want to try it out, I believe, I don't know if the sale had ended. I just tried it. It really works. Um, so yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys want to leave a like, um, you can leave a like. If we can actually get two likes, that would be greatly appreciated. Also, if you want to subscribe to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And also click the notification bell icon below so you never miss any other video. And also... I really I am really really happy for 7,000 views now I've, I've been really really happy my subscriber count went high and stuff I reached 34 subscribers and I'm I am, I am really 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 happy right now like I know it has been a very very small step but we can get there if we can get 100 subscribers we, ha we may have a 100 subscriber special and possibly a new channel trip because I haven't posted any channel trailer ever since um, my most viewed video is basically um, what they call it, the Colonel Audio Tour um, channel. I mean, not channel video, which actually gained over 2,700 views um, standalone, which is very, very great. Uh, so, if you guys want to check out my Discord server, the description will be um, the link will be in the description below. Um, I will be posting um, a gameplay video soon, so check that out later on. Um, so yeah, that's all I have to say. I hope you guys have a great day. And yeah, stay tuned everybody.